Situated between the St. Lawrence River and the Laurentian Mountains is Le Nodier, a region of Quebec famous for its unique character, stunning natural environment and abundance of islands and waterways. This is Il Ronde, a short ferry ride from Saint-Sulpice, just north of Montreal, and for the last 15 years, home to some of the region's finest wines. Well, it was Mr. Jocelyn Lafortune, the owner. He bought uh, half of the island in 1986. Yeah. And then he started to, uh, to clean up because the, the, the fields were left abandoned since 30 years. Mm. So today we have 50,000 plants. Okay. Uh, eight different varieties. But it's varieties that are uh, rustic. Yeah. So they were developed from, uh, from wild, probably sure. from our wild American uh, grapes. Now, Quebec isn't known for its wine production, but that's because the majority of it is still consumed domestically. And you soon see why they keep it to themselves, particularly the sweet rosé, the oak aged red, and the celebrated fortified wine. What better way to while away the day in the Canadian sunshine? <laughs> It's not just the wine that's remarkable, the food in La Lodière is particularly good too. This is the Montagne Coupe, a country in star resort nestled on the crest of a towering cliff overlooking the St. Lawrence Valley. We're very proud of our food here at La Montagne Coupe. We've won some awards over the years. Our uh, wine list is very renowned as well. And we work mainly with the uh, regional products. And uh, we also have all kinds of uh, wild meat and game, and it's, it's very well prepared, and uh, people really try some new food here, actually, try some new dishes, yeah. Back to the water now, and a chance to explore the Bertier Islands on the St. Lawrence River in a dragon boat. Now, this, this whole region, it's a UNESCO biosphere area, that's right. There is. There's a lot of bird nests, and there is the biggest great blue iron nest of the world. Oh, look at it. There it goes. In, when the water is pretty high, like in springtime, there's just 40 islands. Really? Yeah. So what's that, 63 go missing? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so we, we, we were able to see those islands, but those are uh, s submerged. Yeah. And we, we, we're going through big forests, big trees, so kind of uh, amazing journey to do. But then as our adventure into the flooded woodland continued, the skies darkened and it wasn't long before the onset of an almighty storm filled the air. Usually when you come to these places and uh, create these travel pieces, you try to make sure that the sky is incredibly blue to show off these areas in their best possible light. But I'll tell you something, there is a, some kind of electrical storm setting in here and it is one of the most amazing things I have ever seen. It is absolutely spectacular. Everywhere you look, there are big flashes of lightning coming down. You really feel like you're, you're in the heart of darkness almost out here. The wind has really picked up as well and there was a huge bolt of... I believe that's what they call thunder and lightning around these parts. It's absolutely fantastic. Not a bit of blue sky to be seen, but it is a real treat. It feels really special to be out here at the moment. It may be a little bit dangerous, but I don't care. This is what traveling is all about. And less than a minute later, well, it looks like that'll be a wrap. Never one to let a spot of rain ruin the party. It wasn't long before the sun came out and we were back on the water. This time further north on Lac Toreau. The lake itself is right in the heart of the Nanodier region and at nearly 100 square kilometers, it boasts 60 islands of its own. Uh, lake Toreau was created in 1931 uh, by the creation of a dam to drown the area, to create some hydroelectricity in the region of Shawinigan and Trois Rivières. Uh, it's just just wonderful being outside the city, uh, relax, uh, just enjoy the view, uh, just, I'm just loving it. <laughs> the reservoir isn't just used for relaxation, it's widely enjoyed as an all-season centre for water skiing, jet boating and in the winter, skidooing and even a spot of ice fishing. A bucket of donuts, a bucket of fruit, 
thousands of square miles of Canadian wilderness. That can mean only one thing. I'm going bear watching. Bonjour, hello. Uh, give you the donuts. Okay. Yeah, sure. Show me to these bears. Sure, let's go. Now, we have to be very, very quiet indeed now because the bears can hear us coming from quite an awful long way away and you don't want to be scaring them off before you get them. So when we feed the bears, uh, we make sure to only bring them a small snack because we don't want the bear to get dependent, to want to uh, depend on the, the snack we're bringing. And we want him to stay as wild as possible and uh, so he can survive in the, in the wildlife. So it's a very small portion just to tease him. So he comes every day, comes uh, to eat a little bit so we can do the activity. Well, sadly, the bears haven't kept their side of the bargain. Maybe it was the donuts. I don't know whether they smelled pretty good to me. My own personal theory is the squirrels. They have been very, very loud indeed. Maybe if they toned it down a bit, we could have got lucky. But there you go, Mother Nature. Thankfully, you can enjoy the natural environment here without the help of the local bear population. And one way to really experience the surroundings is from the air. Now, at the moment, we're pumping the balloon full of cold air. And when all the cold air's in there, then we'll turn on the, the burners here and start pumping the hot air in there. Quebec's International Hot Air Balloon Festival is held every August and it's a celebration of this magical pastime, attracting many participants who fill the sky with balloons of all shapes, sizes and colours. Going up in a hot air balloon really is a fantastic way to see any region. It gives you a real sense of scale and you can look everywhere and see so much of the wildlife and it makes you realise why people come to the Lanodia region on holiday or maybe even for a once-in-a-lifetime trip. 